At a time when the Indian Air Force is searching for a 4.5 generation or 5th generation fighter jet under the 114 MRFA program, Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has announced that it has conducted the first flight of a new upgraded version of the Su-57. The company has said that it is testing a suite of onboard equipment with extended functionality, new 360-degree sensor capabilities, a wide range of new types of weapons, and artificial intelligence support for the crew, which will assume some of the pilot's functions and preparations for the use of weapons, that will allow the pilot to focus on operational role while flying. The upgraded Su-57 is also prepared to be equipped with the inched Ally 30 engine with a higher thrust. The upgraded Su-57 will also be armed with hypersonic missiles by 2026. The Ministry of Defense has specifically instructed Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to reduce the man-hour cost in the production of the Tejas Mark II aircraft, to reduce the per-unit cost of the aircraft, as 16 countries have expressed interest in the program to replace their MiG-29 Mirage 2000 and older F-16. The Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics are working out details to increase indigenous content from 75% to 90%, that includes local manufacturing of F-414 engine. Most of the wearable components of the engine will be manufactured in India, while some of the proprietary hot core section will remain with the General Electric, but further collaboration is possible for manufacturing of the engine from the raw material stage. The Tejas Mark II was expected to cost 40% more than the baseline variant of the Tejas Mark I-A, but now with more indigenous content, the per unit cost will fall further, making it one of the most affordable 4.5 generation medium weight fighter in its segment. Talks have also started with the private sector companies, to establish a new production line especially for export market. VEM Technologies has joined hands with Austrian company Seabell to manufacture the camcopter S100 done manned aerial vehicles in India. VEM Technologies will source more than 60% of the components locally from India, and the production will start in the next 6 months, and the rate of production will pick up in the next 12 months. VEM Technologies will offer the S100 to the Indian Navy under its tender for naval ship-borne unmanned aerial system, which is already in service with a number of foreign navies. The S100 has a range of 200 km, and can operate from ground, or any ship with a small helicopter landing deck in all weather conditions. India is going to begin the construction work for upgrading its new advanced landing ground for fighter jet operations, that is located less than 50 km from the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh. The new airfield is already being used to transport soldiers and supplies, and has seen operations of Apache attack helicopters Chinook heavy lift helicopters and C-130J transport aircraft and fighter jet operations would strengthen Air Force's ability to tackle any misadventures by the enemies. Airbus has announced that it will deliver the first C-295 aircraft to the Indian Air Force in a flyaway condition by September 2023, and 16 aircraft will be delivered by August 2025. The remaining 40 aircraft will be manufactured at the Tartu Airbus facility in Vadodara, that will start operations in 2025. Officials have said, that Indian Air Force's own projection could swell beyond the 56 aircraft, and the Coast Guard requirement could be around 19 aircraft. Airbus defense will also likely be galvanized for other contests, like Indian Navy's Naval Utility Helicopter and Multi-Role Helicopter program. Oh, my God.